Managing a home server can be tough. Whether you're running a personal website, maybe a home NAS or Plex install, or even a small Minecraft server, server admin gets exhausting real quick. Which is why recently we at Porkbun have rolled out a few simple tools that should help make connecting your home server to your domain name easier. So let's get started, shall we? Today we'll be focusing on our DDNS client paired with our API. This will allow us to update the A record for a domain pointed at a home server or really any server that will have a dynamic IP address. Just a quick caveat, we'd be remiss not to stress that setting up and running a home server, maybe not the best idea, definitely not the best for a real business application, and there are always risks involved when running a server behind your home network. Make sure all devices on your network have unique and strong passwords, you're only forwarding the ports you need, and that your web server is decently well isolated from any personal or private files. Alright, with that out of the way, let's get your account prepped for using the Porkman API. You'll want to make sure both your phone number and email address are verified in your account settings. Once that's done, we'll want to prep your server to accept traffic from outside your home network. Make sure you've assigned a static IP on your home network for your server, and then use the port forwarding function in your modem or router to forward traffic on ports 80 and 443. Now this is where our DDNS tool comes in. From time to time, your public IP address can change, and then you'd have to update your domain name to point to the new IP. However, you can set up the client to do this for you from your home server, and schedule it so it checks and updates automatically, leaving you with one less thing to manage. I'll be showing you examples of how to do this on my own server that I run off of TrueNAS, as well as some options within Mac and Windows, but feel free to adjust based on your server setup. Pick up our Python-based DDNS client from our public GitHub, Porkman Domains, and unpack it somewhere on your server. I'm going to install it right in the www user folder just to make things simple. Just be sure you install it somewhere other than where your site files are, otherwise you could end up broadcasting your API keys. Then make sure you have Python installed. If you're on a Mac, you should already have Python 2.7 prepackaged. Whereas for Windows, you can download the latest version of Python from python.org, and for any other Unix-based system, just install using your default package manager. Also make sure you install Python's package manager, PIP, or PIP. For Mac, you'll need to use the dash dash user tag to any commands and run ensure pip to install pip. Likewise, ensure pip should work for any other system then run pip install requests to download the request package for Python. Next, rename config.json.example to config.json and open it up in your favorite text editor. Okay, now that the footwork is done, let's get our API key. If you already have one previously, you can of course just reuse that. Otherwise, go to porkbun.com, click on account up in the top right, and then API access. Go ahead and give the key a title, such as DDNS, and then click Create API Key. Copy each of these keys into their respective spots in your config.json and then save the file. Now let's go ahead and do a test run of the client. Type in python porkbun-ddns.py, config.json, and then just our root domain name. We should see the response creating record for our domain name with answer of RIP. And sure enough, when we go to our domain name, it resolves. All we have to do now is schedule a task to run the client periodically. For anything running Unix like macOS, Linux, FreeBSD, a cron job is going to be the easiest. Simply run cron tab e, which should open up cron in your default editor, either Vim or Nano. To set this to run at startup, we can write a line at reboot python, then the full path to our client. In my case, it will be this, and then the path to our config file. And then finally, end with our domain name. You may also need to add these lines at the top if they aren't there by default. Then finally, save the file and exit your editor. This should now be set to run once at startup. A simple way to test this is just to edit or delete your current A record, and then restart your server. After it's done booting up, the record should be updated again with your current IP. You can then just make a second line for the same job, but switch how often it updates to say at daily or even at hourly. For Windows, the easiest method would be to set up a batch file, and similarly, schedule it to run via the task scheduler. Using your favorite text editor, just enter the following code, modified for your installation. 
and then save the file as a .bat, such as ddns.bat. Then open up the start menu and type in task scheduler, then action, create basic task, give it a name, set the trigger, I would recommend doing this twice for both daily and when the computer starts. Action should default to start a program, then just browse for your .bat file. And then you're done. Again, you can test this if you set it up to run at startup by editing your A record to something else, then rebooting your system to see if it works. And that's all there is to it. The client should just run at whatever interval you set it to and keep your domain and server properly linked together, even as your IP changes. If you do run into any issues, you can reach out to us on our public GitHub or email us at support at porkbun.com. So we hope you liked this video. We'll be coming out with another soon detailing how to automatically update your server with an SSL certificate using our API as well. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and check that bell icon to get notified when that drops. Otherwise, until next time.